Hi, this is John and Amy with TPF Trips, Places, and Fun. I'm here at Branson Landing in Branson, Missouri, where we are going to look at all the restaurants here at the landing. So if you're needing something to eat while you're doing your shopping or being entertained here, you'll know exactly what there is. And hey, there's something exciting going on. There is a new restaurant that has their soft opening today and we'll be featuring them at the end. So stay tuned. And hey, Amy, check this out. There's a little bit of snow. A lot. We just got dumped on. We had a huge snowstorm, just like a lot of you from around here. And we were able to get out today, so we're gonna do this fun video. All right, so let's start right here with an awesome restaurant, especially if you're crazy hungry for crazy some good hungry. home cooking. So this is Paula Dean's Family Kitchen. And Paula Dean's is family style, so you and the rest of your group will sit down You'll be able to choose from several different main entrees and then you can choose several different sides and it'll all be brought to your table and you will get to keep eating as much as you want. They'll keep bringing it to you and bringing it to you until you are full and then they have a great dessert to send you home with. Yeah, and I tend to get full pretty quick. So maybe one and a half rounds or two. Yes, so it's pretty yummy. We just ate there somewhat recently. And then right next door, we have Black Oak Grill. Now, this is one of my favorite restaurants. Yeah, this is a great one. They have a lot of healthy things to eat. So I like their pot roast. That's gluten free. So I eat their pot roast here. I eat their, su uh, their, their seared, rather, seared tuna salad. Yes, and they've got salads to choose from and lots of great things to eat. And hey, if you sit back over here you can see Lake Tammy Como behind us here so that's a kind of a fun thing to do not on a day like today though I was, I was gonna ask you did you want to do that right now not right now and actually some of the restaurants are gonna be closed today because of the weather so some are open but a lot are gonna be closed you're gonna get dripped on I know I need to come over this way a little bit well look at that you can see all the way down and there's very few people here they got the walkway plowed but man oh man this is uh I it's think kind of a ghost town. I it is. don't know if I've ever seen it this empty. I mean, some of the, sh the stores are open, some of the restaurants, but not a lot. All right, so over here to my right, we have Andy B's Bowl Social. Of course, they are famous for their boutique bowling, I think they call it. But they also have lots of things to eat here. So if you want to, while you're having fun, if you want to grab some appetizers and some yummy things to eat. Look, actually, there's some pictures of it. That's actually Level oh, 2 Steakhouse. Level 2 Steakhouse. <laughs> Which <laughs> is close to the landing, Level 2 Steakhouse. We can include them. They're advertising <laughs> work. They're ad well, yeah, it's right funny. across the tracks at the Hilton. <laughs> I was I seeing believe. that yeah. screen and I was like, wow, I didn't know any bees had that sort of food. But really, here you'll get a lot of great appetizers and things like that. And see, I do see people bowling, so they are open today. So I got to walk through here and get a picture of the bowling. There we go. Let's see if we can Ooh, find Let's see if she... Oh, pretty good. The menu up here. They're actually busy. Look at all those people there. Yeah, I guess there's not a whole lot in Branson open today. Some things are, but not a whole lot. So here is the place to come. Okay, so of course you got lots of different appetizers to choose from, and then you've got stuff like burgers and pizza and salads and stuff like that. Yeah, and right there in Andy B's, we used to have our escape room escape code, right? We did, way back in 2017, I think. We yeah. were here at the landing for a little bit. We had mini lightning rounds, we called them. They were 20 minute games. Okay, over here we have Joe's Crab Shack. Of course, you know what that's all about just by hearing the name. And then over here, you've got Salt Grass Steakhouse. You also know what that's all about <laughs> just by hearing the name. Yeah. <laughs> yummy, yummy seafood and steaks. Yes, there you go. Hey, they should combine. I could do some uh, surf and turf. Yeah, I guess you could. I'll take over commentary for a moment. We have uh, Mellow Mushroom if you want a little uh, pizza action. So, and uh, they, they've got a great little mascot right there. Yeah, you've got some great specialty pizzas in here. So, gluten-free pizza options if you need that. And just a lot of great, um, if you have a pizza lover, a lot of great options for different kinds of toppings and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, what about that? Does that count? Oh, the Rocky Mountain chocolate package. Well, there are a little 
a bunch of little like treat shops around here because you've got Kilwins and you've got It's Sugar and stuff like that. But I think I don't think we're gonna go over each of those little things. I think we're just going over like the main ones. For the sake of time. Yes. And there's our mascot. So I was excited to be contacted by uh, somebody who's opening a brand new restaurant and uh, focusing on like uh, hot dogs and things like that. And so we're gonna go over there. That's coming up soon. You definitely wanna stay and check that out. But uh, excited, so I'm always excited when new businesses open in Branson. Yes, so that'll be fun to talk to them and see kind of what they're all about. But as we walk down there, we will show you more of the great places to eat here at the land. Do you know what you, do you notice what you're doing? Amy's just walking, you know, right down the center there. I'm, I'm walking here and getting pushed up into the side. But you stay right there on the, on the dry parts and I'll be okay. I'll be all right. Yeah, okay. Good. <laughs> Yeah, because you have all these little snack places that we haven't mentioned all of them, but you've got up here like Auntie Anne's or Auntie Ann's. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Auntie Anne's. No, good gosh. Auntie Anne's. Auntie, Auntie, no, <laughs> Auntie Anne's. You've got to play. Okay, leave a comment down below. Leave a comment down below. One for Auntie Anne's. One, two for Auntie Anne's. And three and for three Auntie Anne's. Auntie Anne's. <laughs> One is Auntie Anne's, one is Auntie Anne's, two is, or three is uh, Auntie Anne's. Oh my gosh. Okay, leave those comments below, one, two, or three. And Cinnabon. And Cinnabon. So this would be the center of town, as they would say here on the landing. Yeah, we've got, this is where you have your fountain show. Yep. And I don't think it's going on today. But you've got Land Shark right here. So here you'll have, you know, burgers and seafood and that sort of thing. And then a restaurant that we actually frequent. Quite often. Well, let's show them a menu, why not? Okay. Is that a good idea? Sure. Hey, Amy, get up in that chair and sit. No, no, no. Get up in there. It's, it's full of snow. <laughs> so here we go. All right. Taco nacho, fish tacos, barbecue ribs, Burgers seafood combo. And sandwiches, and then of course you got like fish and, sh and uh, chips and fried shrimp and a seafood combo and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and then the restaurant we eat at a lot over there, Cantina Laredo. So it's exciting, Amy. Look at all this snow. In four days, you and I are going to be in shorts and flip flops. Taking our first Disney cruise. And so this was a good precursor to that because we're really going to appreciate it. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so good. So this is an amazing place to watch the fountain show. And it's really an amazing place to watch the incredible fireworks show that happens right out here on the lake. But even if you can't do either one of those two things, uh, Cantina Laredo is just simply amazing. Amazing Mexican food. Yes, we eat there a lot. So still here in the middle of the landing, we have Big Whiskies and Waxy O'Shea's and Irish Pub. Yeah, so on one side, you got kind of the American bar and on the other side, the Irish Pub. Yeah. So I really like Irish food and um, that has some really great, I'm trying to think what it's called, like shepherd's pie or something like that, which I've had is really yummy. Are you Irish? I, I do, yes. I, I, I do? I, mean, I, I do. do. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> I do. I do have Irish ancestry, yes. Oh, I have English ancestry. Aren't we supposed to, that, that explains everything. <laughs> that explains everything, it just hit me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, because they're always battling against each other. And oh, is that what? Yeah, yeah, you and I, we're a little feisty sometimes, yeah. wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah. But and these are good, these are good restaurants here. Whiskey, yeah. super yummy too. And yep. then you you've got like some burger options for sure here at the landing. So. Burgers and more. When we travel, Amy, uh, and visit new places, a lot of the excitement and the the, the adventure is the food, right? It's really cool to see kind of the way different places do food and the way different cultures do food. In fact, one of my favorite things that we did when we were in the Bahamas was a foodie tour. Oh, yeah. And that was so much fun going from place to place and trying a bunch of different things. And I think that was one of my favorite excursions ever, actually. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, and when we go to other places like Gatlinburg or Orlando, we love trying out new things. 
sure. And so Branson is the same. Lots of fun new places to uh, try out. Yeah. All right, so we have Sweet Bay Coffee Company right there. Got a got to feature a coffee shop. And then over on the left, Amy. We got some that are new, one that's fairly new and one that's brand new. Right. Guy Fieri's, I think is how you say it. Yep. And we actually have a video of this restaurant. So check that out if you're wanting to see kind of all the different things that they have to offer. Great food. Yeah. And then over here, brand new. Ramada. A Ramada Italian restaurant, which we haven't gotten to try yet. We've tried to go a couple times and they've been closed a couple times we've tried to go, but this is something we're really looking forward to trying. Yep, it's supposed to be really good, kind of higher end Italian. And let's go ahead, and, go ahead and let you take a look at the menu over here if I can see one. Oh, they don't have the menu up anymore. That's okay. But this is, this is Ramada right in there. Italian, pizza, pasta, all that good stuff. Yeah. All right. So Guy Fieri's over there. We've got Ramada here. And then we're going to keep walking down to the end by Bass Pro. And then we're going to finish this up, Amy, with? Yeah, well, we got a couple more restaurants on this side. Right. So and then we are excited about a our, brand new the restaurant. new one that's having their soft opening today. That's right. Show you guys. Here we've got Smith Creek Moonshine. And of course they have what you think they have, and that's moonshine. But they also have a great little restaurant here. And we've eaten here before. You get sandwiches and salads and yummy stuff like that. It was very, very good. So don't just come here for the moonshine. Come here for a yummy meal. They have free moonshine tasting, and then you can buy the moonshine if you... So choose. so choose. And then right up here, we have Garfield's. Right. And that kind of has, I would say, American food as well. Is that what you, what you would call it? I think I would. Yes. So again, burgers, salads, you know, that kind of thing. And it's right here at the end of the landing. Yep. And right beyond the actual kind of boardwalk style landing, we have a standalone restaurant. We'll show you that in a moment. But here is Garfield's. Gotta get around the corner here. There we go. All right, so if you can find Bass Pro Shops, you can find this amazing restaurant that actually sits right on Lake Tanicomo. Right on the water. Yep. We have the White River Fish House. And you know what I like here? I'm not a huge, actually, I'm not a seafood fish fan at all. You like that. You like fish. Oh, yeah. But they have stuffed mushrooms here that are I really good. I do not like that. <laughs> you don't like mushrooms, but I do. So let me see. I'm kind of blocked here unless I go all the way around. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let you take a look. So there is the fish house on beautiful Lake Tanicomo. And it's not too cold for these guys to be fishing. All right. You know what time it is, right? Time to go check out the new place. That's right. I am so excited. All right. Here we go. Hey, what do you think we should... Uh, you think we should buy one of these pontoon boats? I've always wanted one. I have heard a saying, and I don't know if it's true, but it's, you know, it's made me have reservations, and that's... You've made res you've made reservations to buy a pontoon boat? Yeah. No, there's, there's two happiest days of your life. <laughs> one is the day you buy your boat, okay, wait and a one is the day you, you sell, sell it. your, you sell so your let's boat. Let's play the guessing game. How much do we think this one is right here? I'm going to say uh, 32000 I'll say... 39. You're going to say 39? All right. If it's less than either of that, we can buy it. Oh, shoot. Oh, those easy payments of $362. Well, yeah. All right, Amy. Here Soft opening today is Raylene's Magnolia Ice. Raylene's Magnolia Ice. Sorbet. Sandwiches. Sandwiches. Gourmet hot dogs. Gourmet hot dogs. So we're going to go in there and check it out. Yep. We're here to do some video. Did you hear? Oh my goodness. Yeah. We're here with TVF. Cook's place has been fun and they asked us to come just kind of video your song. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're excited to be here. This looks like you're 
got a lot of activity. This is our first, our soft opening this evening. First, yeah. First night. Fun. And then, um, and we have a limited menu. And if you'd like to see, sure. all, everything's free tonight. Absolutely. And we have a homemade soup. Oh yeah. Absolutely delicious. If you like sausage, it's got a, it's got an Italian sausage. Okay. Potatoes, onions, carrots. It's, it's basically a nice homemade soup. Okay. And our tagline here for Magnolia Ice is exceed the ordinary. We don't Ooh, want like anything it. to be ordinary. We want it to be a little better flavored. Exceptional. Exceptional. Yeah. So this is a soft opening. This is a soft opening. Where you're opening. just introducing uh, your, your foods mm -hmm. and your atmosphere and mm -hmm. it's exciting, right? Yes. And uh, this is the menu for okay. tonight. Those are the menus usually. Yeah. Um, the, the name uh, Red Eats Magnolia Ice came from the idea of us making sorbets, which are uh, for the summertime. Right now, I don't know if too many people would be interested Ooh, in sorbets. It's crazy out there, isn't it? <laughs> when we're uh, walking on the snow to get in. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you can tell that if you like tart things, the most sour is at the top where it has that bar with lemon at the top. Oh, yeah. And at the bottom, it shows a lollipop. That tells you which one's more, t if, if you'd like more sour or if you'd like sweeter, take one closer to the bottom. Okay. Um, and eventually we will have the adult Italian um, or okay. uh, adult sorbets, like flying margarita and pina colada and, I uh, can't remember, strawberry daiquiri. Right. So. Very good. Yes. So if you would like to order something today, we even have free flavors of sorbet available just okay. to taste. Sure. Yeah. Well, hey, we're up for that. Even if it's cold outside, we still like mine tasting. You can sorbet. taste it. Yes. Yeah. And then we have um, these sandwiches and um, and we have the hot soup that's not listed. So this is taken over the old subway. Yes, and it, they, it looks like they're making use of what their yep. leftover bowls, which is smart. But you know, yes, and, and so if you know where subway was, the landing, that's where this is now. And I love stuff like this. As an entrepreneur myself, and you're just the opening day, and you're putting everything together, and it's so exciting. Look I just at love this it. Table. Isn't that pretty? Oh, look at that. All right, so this is a sausage-based soup, gluten-free. She said they're also going to have some salads coming up soon. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Very good. Looks good. All right, Amy, that is evidence enough. It was good. It was very good, and really I, am, good. I am almost done. Yeah, look at that. That's a little bit of a kick for not, me, not, not for really. you. Not really. <laughs> But man, you gotta come out here. I'm waiting on my sandwich. I'm excited about that. And look, got some got some business here during their soft opening. So now I'm trying the mango sorbet. Mm, it's very good. Yeah. It's gonna give me a brain freeze though. That's okay. <laughs> they, today they have. Let's see. Mango, lemon, or strawberry. But they have a lot more different flavors. You know, other times they're gonna have all the way from sour to very sweet. Magnolia on the box. Ah, there it is. I love it. <laughs> and here is a couple of napkins. Is there something else you might need? I think we are set. I think it's great. Yeah. So far, so good. Ketchup or anything? Oh yeah, ketchup would be great. Okay. All right. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we flattened our box so we could get a good view of the sandwich. Mmm. That looks good. Oh, it has barbecue sauce on it. It looks like. It looks it's about good. to be in my belly. Get in your belly. How is it? So good. So good, I'm gonna have another bite. What kind of bun do they call that? Some bada? I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> it looks very, like, you know, soft and yummy. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was top of my mouthful, but Amy likes bread because she can never eat it. <laughs> She's gluten free. <laughs> I, I am gluten free, so sometimes they'll bring rolls out to our table and I just smell them. <laughs> I don't know if I should admit that. All right. <laughs> 
Well, that was an excellent experience. Yes, very good food, super nice people. Y'all, if you're at the landing and you're wanting to grab a quick bite, stop here at Raylene's Magnolia Ice. Yeah, and, and I just discovered that I knew, and or I know her husband, who's a pastor in town, and we Raylene's did something. husband, Tom. Tom, yeah, uh, Tom Wilcox. And we did something a long time ago called Prayer in the Cave at Marvel Cave at Silver Dollar City and where we were in the cave for four or five hours in pitch darkness and we prayed it was amazing and she was there raylene was there and we just made that connection and i didn't realize it it's a small world it's at least it's a small city right small city yeah okay well we enjoyed sharing all of the branson landing restaurants with you today thank you for following along and safe travels everyone don't forget to visit raylene's magnolia ice